Good afternoon, and welcome to Expose Yourself to Art, a show that explores the creative process by inviting artists to come on with us and have a discussion about their lives and their art. Uh, I'm David Schrader, and with me as always is my co-host, Linda Scheller. So hi, Linda. Hi, David. How are you? I'm great. Hey, congratulations. Outstanding woman of Stanislaus County. Man, your picture's in the paper and everything. So, <laughs> Thank you well, so much. I'm among royalty here. Oh. Or something like that. No, <laughs> oh, push up, push up. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, that's serious. I'm. That's a real honor. I, I, mean, I am, I'm deeply honored and so grateful. Yeah, yeah. Well, great. So anyway, today um, we have one of the true cornerstones of art in our community. I say cornerstone because Jordi Camps uh, not only has, uh, you know, is an artist, but he has a restaurant gallery that is on the corner okay. of, uh, what is it, 11th and J, 10th and J, 10th and J. So he's a real cornerstone artist in our community. So, uh, and he has a very interesting story about mm -hmm. his development as an artist and coming to this country and plays a pivotal role in many ways in the arts in the community. So let's bring him on and uh, hear his story. So come on in, Jordy. Welcome. Welcome, Jordy. Hey, hi, Linda. How are you? Yeah, welcome. Yeah, I am I really appreciate you being on here. I've known you for some time. Um, you're very generous with your time and your gallery. You've allowed me to exhibit my photographs there several times, and uh, other people I know have exhibited there. So I consider you a friend. Thanks for being here. Oh, no. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you yeah. for me that I can talk a little bit about my, my art and, and my, my love for Modesto. Sure. And uh, my place is all the time open for everybody. Yeah. Great. Well, um, maybe we'll get talking a little bit about your business later, but right now I'm going to turn you over to Linda and she can kind of uh, start the ball rolling. Yeah. I'm very curious, Jordi, to hear your background, uh, your art story, your development as an artist. Of course. Uh, well, I will tell you that uh, first uh, we have at Modesto, this is our year number 21. Uh, that we moved from South America to here. My family is from Spain, from Barcelona, but I born and grow in Guayaquil, Ecuador, South America. And what happened about the art is, uh, well, the first part of, my, of the art thing was I, I was like a seven years old and my uncle, Honorio, he has a printing company and the best treat that I have every week was a Friday at four o'clock of the afternoon when I go out to the school, I go to his company and he has all the time a little box with a lot of papers, different colors of papers. And that was my fantastic trip for every day. That's how I start the, the idea about to draw in and play with papers and with colors. But, uh, the time passed and my sister, Maria Luisa, she went to study in, art in, the, in Barcelona, in the University of Barcelona. And uh, uh, she passed, she was like, a, I don't know, a couple of years over there or something like that. And uh, she come back from the, from the university and uh, I was, uh, for some reason, I don't remember what happened, but I have uh, sick and I need to be at home for a couple of weeks. And it was the same, the same time that she arrived. And she has all these toys. She has an easel. She has paintings. She has, wow, something that I never see before uh, in that kind of, of, uh, of quality. And uh, uh, that was the start. She painted because she was in the university. She was painting all the time. And she teach me a little bit about how to use these, how to mix the colors, what I need to do. And uh, for two weeks, she was my teacher every day. And from that time until now, I am painting, if I don't say every day, but can be really close of every day, every day that I was painting something. So did you go right into working as an artist or was there uh, another stage as far as earning a living? And 
Well, after after that, uh, I I go to the high school, I finish, and I go to the uh, uh, university in uh, in uh, in Guayaquil. And the most important uh, 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 time that I spent in the university was uh, in a class of, of drawing, and I love that. But uh, when that start, I discovered one artist from Mexico that the name is Jose Luis Cuevas. It's a crazy, was a, it's a crazy guy, but I love what he draw, what the colors that he use, and the way that he is so strong. So, you know, it's probably political and strong, uh, uh, complaining about everything and going to the, to the world that was not the, my world was not a nice and family or, or was a crazy world. And that killed me when I saw that, that, that guy, what he did, and uh, uh, that's the moment that probably I, I, I decide to need to continue to doing something in, in a different way. Mm. Yeah, I never can go to the school for art because uh, uh, my, my, in that time, my dad passed away uh, oh. sometimes ago, and uh, my mom, you know, uh, she need to handle in a house with uh, four kids and, mm. Uh, she maintained the kids out of the art or the things because she was feeling that art, you know, cannot get to you a way to to live or cannot get to you or can can become you in a little crazy person, you know. Yeah. And, uh, I respect that, but uh, doesn't matter that she doesn't like that part. I made the other things and I continue painting and create my own uh, techniques to to do it and try to to do the best that I can, you know, and learn every day. And in the art, you know, well, like, like Arisa, David and Linda, you are, in the art, the most incredible part is the production, is the mm -hmm. made the things, you know, and the surprise that you got. Because uh, you can follow all the instructions, but you will have a surprise. If you don't have a surprise, this is not, for, it is not really uh, something that, that you will enjoy. Mm. Uh -huh. With your own children, though, it was very different, wasn't it, regarding art and, and art in their lives? <laughs> well, it was not too, difficult, too different. Because, uh, it was different in some way, but uh, that uh, I decided to don't be in a, in a room or studio painting. I decided to paint with them, and they paint with me, and they go through my things. I go all the time so friendly in the way that I never will be scary or... Uh, stressful about the kids will be with my paintings never ever in my life mm -hmm. and they grow in that way there were so too too much critics for some times you say, they say oh that i don't like what you are doing why is you know they talk really critic with me and i love that mm -hmm. and that yes. that becoming a two beautiful persons my daughter incredible larry and my son that is a designer he is he works right now for gallo uh, he's a designer in gallo in the winery and I am surprised with him every time that I saw what he's doing. And now I, when I go to the, to the store, I see, I say, oh, this is Jordi, 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 Jordi. <laughs> the, the, the things that they have, and that's so funny. Yeah. Oh, wow. You must be very proud. Of course, yes. Yeah. Uh, one of the things I know about you from having talked with you in the past is that your road to becoming a... Uh, an artist uh, wasn't straightforward. You didn't go to art school. You went into business. Yes. Yeah, so and and uh, could you tell us a little bit about how that transition happened? You know, from business to art. Yeah. No. 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 I will. I will explain everything. Uh, uh, well, I I I work in different companies in different places. And, uh, doesn't matter that I have a, a a job of eight hours a day and more time because I will. I grow in, in a company, I, grow, I, I work for a company that the name is uh, Crowley American Transport for 14 or 15 years. And I grow from the salesman to the manager, sales managers. And I, it's really intense. I love it because it was a, was a, was a beautiful business. I, in that time, I paint in the night or every time that I have. And my paintings become in a really dark. And... Well, when I when I write to the point that I can say, okay, I want to stop this and continue with, with my own things, I stop that, I continue, and I continue not with the art, I continue, I go to the area of the restaurants, 
and we open a place that the name is uh, was uh, Bopan, that means good bread. The name was exactly Bopan, Arte, Café y Pan. That means uh, good bread, art, coffee, and bread. Mm. <laughs> and, uh, uh, when we opened, the theme of the of the of the place was the art. Of course, cannot be different, <laughs> you know. And uh, uh, we start, and we we uh, make shows of different artists in in in, in Guayaquil, and we invite everybody to make shows. I put my artwork too, and uh, uh, the few the first uh, few months, the art thing was not successful. I I was thinking, what is happening? The people arrive here, get a coffee, a latte, a cappuccino, or a tapa, or whatever, or a beer or wine. But they don't talk about the art. They don't, you know, the art was like if you put whatever in the paintings part of the decoration. And in that moment, I have one idea. I say, well, if these people don't want to see the walls that is an art and it's important for the artists to show and for me, I would put the paintings in the tables. And I start, that was 1994, 1995. I started painting the, the, the tables. And the first thing that I do is we have a patio with four tables and I decide to paint the tables and I went and paint the tables and all the theme that I paint up there was about uh, ladies and girls, you know, uh, was more with the woman situation because uh, my place in the morning was a breakfast in the, uh, in the, it was t in the lunch was just lunch, people who was working around. But after four o'clock, we have the place full of girls and ladies who wants to be there in a nice place uh, for birthdays or, or whatever. And it's a lot of, of women every day from four o'clock until seven. And at seven o'clock, I write the, the, uh, the, the husbands or, or some different people and becoming a different group of people, but was really interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, I painted the four tables outside until one day somebody came and said, hey, Jody, why, why you are painting the table? And I said, well, the theme of the place is the art. The name of the restaurant is Bopan, art, coffee, and, and bread. And uh, we invite a lot of artists to put the art in the walls and uh, nothing happened and now i decide to put the in some place that you need to see the art <laughs> hey your coffee cup or your sandwich or your food or your tapa <laughs> the painting is right there and the people laughing and the people and that change all about the, the place and we have an artist almost every month we have books for six or seven or eight months already for different artists and uh, the table was painting and uh, okay. change the idea of the place and become more in a in a place that we, we have more art and food but but the art was really important that's yeah. how we start. yeah that's yeah so um did people then buy the tables the people buy the tables and uh, buy different things by the tables the paintings the, i i i made boxes i i like to do a lot of things i don't when i don't have a canvas i need to find something to paint and can be a table. Let me show you. It's okay. Sure. Can I show you? Yeah, oh, please. please. Show you. It's this is, for example, one table that I I found that I would put in in uh, at Picasso's in some moment. I don't know if you can see. Uh, it's oh yes, that's wonderful. Yeah. Old table is some flowers right there. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I need to finish, but uh, yeah, I uh, you know it's. Uh, if I don't, if I have no canvas, I need to use something. I'm yeah. so, I cannot stop to doing that. I will show you another tables that I have right here of furniture. I don't know if I touch. Well, I will show you. This is it. You can see. Oh, great! It's and this table, if you can see, is a cow. Uh huh. And that when when my 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 grandson the, the name is Luca came here and has uh, almost three years he was crazy about the cows and uh, every time that we draw we we go to to different places he was uh, cry, uh, crying because we he saw the cows and we cannot stop oh. and uh, that's what made me the paint the the cow uh, in the table but but it's a different things you can see it's it's uh, Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Yes. 
Yeah. yeah. You not only do tables, but you I see some plates. I I know that you've done wine bottles in the past. Uh, yeah, I make bottles. Uh, we make a show in in uh, in uh, Missy Gallery that they make choreography. Yeah. Uh, I was so little. I was a little sad because we never repeat that, but this is not a show for me. It was a show to 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 uh, get money for a little school in South America. Uh. In that time, that school, my, my mother-in-law was helping in that school, and one day she said that they need help. And we decided to go to Missy Gallery and talk about that. I talked with Gallo. Gallo donated the, the bottles of uh, wine. Because uh, we want the bottles, no, no empty bottles, need to be uh, bottles with the spirit inside, with the wine. Mm. And they donate the bottles. Uh, Missy helped me to manage that thing because I am not somebody who wants to be involved in the management of the event. I like to, to be behind, you know. Uh -huh. uh, uh, we make an incredible, successful uh, show with the, was 92 bottles that differ, 42 are in Spain, 42 are is from Modesto, they paint, wow. and we make an action and we get, I believe what, 3,000, 3,500, something like that. Great. I sent to the school and the school was uh, helping a lot of, uh, of kids and uh, oh, I was totally in love with that. And in that time, I tell the person who was uh, hanging uh, in the gallery, that would be so nice to do this every year and, and and get money from from whatever, from Miss Lee Gallery, from whatever, you know. It's not my business, but it's a fun, fun event that can be fantastic. We have the winery here, we have the artists here. We don't need nothing else. Huh? No, no. It, it was a good idea. I don't know what happened to it either. Uh, I don't know. It's just yeah. people over there. Yeah. Oh, jeez. So, um, yeah, uh, anyway, maybe we can uh, start taking a look at some of um, some of your artwork in a more formal way here. I, you've sent some pictures in. I've included some pictures here. So why don't we start out? Oh, there we go. So this takes, this takes us back. This is uh, a magazine that uh, I helped create. It, we have one issue only. <laughs> That's as far as it got, but we chose you to be the featured artist on, on the cover. So I don't know if you remember this or not. Uh, of course, I, I was so happy. And, and you choose something really fantastic because uh, in that time, my daughter was not living in Modesto. She moved to, I believe, to uh, Europe. She was living in Europe. And uh, we don't have Maggie here for, for a few years. And uh, that painting is... <laughs> Maggie with her cat, and and of course, some beers uh, uh, that is behind is because uh, she likes to paint birds all the time, and uh, she loves the cat. And uh, what's really great that you choose that painting for the for the cover. Yeah, it's also a good uh, indication that uh, again I know from talking to you in the past that a lot of your paintings have a story that go with them, uh, even I, if it's a small story. Uh, I, I think so that most of the of the artists what what they do when they paint is they put some that wants to church uh, to share with the other people with the people you know uh -huh. and that means every painting that that, that uh, an artist or every song or every whatever kind of art be it's a story behind that for sure that it's like that uh. yeah. Uh, it's a landscape or whatever. It's all the time something there. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the next one here. Oh, there oh. We jump, jump down. Yeah, I, I understand this is one of your favorites. Hello, Jordy. I, what happened? I don't know what happened. I go on. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, there you are again. That's yeah. a, a really small painting, probably it's A by 10 or or 12 by something like that, you know, and was so simple was, uh, uh, I don't know why when I finished, it surprised me too much. And I feel that uh, it's not the theme that can be uh, handing for Jose Luis Cuevas, but probably the colors, the simplicity, the, uh, 
remind, remind, remind me a little bit of his drawing, and probably that's what was one of my favorite paintings. Uh, it's simple, and and probably when somebody saw that doesn't have nothing for for the other person, you know. For for me, it gave me exactly the point when I decide to oh, I need to paint, I need to continue with this, and was for Jose Luis Cuevas the artist. Uh, could we move back up to the previous picture here? I, I, I want people to see this is what it's like in your gallery or what it was like at any one time. Uh, wow. You know, you, you, yeah. You, gallery, cafe. Uh, yeah. Well, and in that, in that picture that you have right there, you have a few things that, are, are, of course, they are important for me. The first, you have the painting that was in the magazine. That is the girl with the cat. That is Maggie with the cat. Yes. To the right to that painting, they have a painting that was on angels. I make a show in, uh, in uh, where was that? That show was in the Banhead Theater in uh, Livermore. Oh, okay. All the shows was, all that show was about angels because that year happened something really strange with me. And I paint a, a big series of big paintings about angels. Is, one person arrived to Picasso's and tell me, hey, Jordi, how are you doing? And I say, oh, I'm fine. Do you want something? I say, yes, I want to, to say thank you to you and I want a coffee. And I say, why thank you to me? I didn't, I don't recognize you. I don't know who you are. And say, yes, you helped me a lot. And, no, I never helped you, nothing. <laughs> and he said, yes, do you remember the guy who came here in jeans, a little dirty, not too much, but a little dirty with the long hair, with the beard. And you permit that sit down in the table right there when you just start the day at seven o'clock in the morning and you give me one coffee. And I came for one more, more than one year to here and, and uh, I draw in and draw in like a crazy a papers and give you the papers. Do you remember? That was me. And uh, I said, what? I said, yes. But what happened is you, with the little thing that you do for me, made me decide to come back to my medicine. Ah. And now I am perfectly, I am fantastic. I feel good. I feel a, a person again. And he was a teacher in somewhere. I don't remember the name was Matthew and I don't remember the teacher where it was. Uh -huh. it was in, so impactful for that, you know. Yeah. And that moment I understood that the angels are not the ones that they are far away or in the in the papers or in is the angels are every you David you Linda myself and we can be good or we can be bad because you can affect the people and you don't know how and can be in the good way or can be the bad way hmm. and we yeah. need to be really careful about more than nothing the kids the young kids because you can say something that can affect the the kids in some way, and you never know how. Yeah. And that become in a year that I need to paint angels for that show, and uh, that's a, the first one over there. Is is an angels? Oh, the one on the on the right. On the right side. Yeah. yeah. The 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 first, the second, and the third. That yeah. one paintings that I made for uh, for an institution here in Modesto that was. Uh, uh, that they help the kids that they are abused and they make a show every year, every year. And you choose a painting of the kids that the paint, the kids during the time make therapies and different things and they draw or paint or doing something. And uh, these three paintings I made for that show. I choose different kids that they give me a, a, a piece of paper with the drawing and from that drawing, I made the ones that they are right here. The, the, the number third, I remember that painting. I remember really close because why was so impactful for that kid. The name of that uh, painting is uh, uh, his big uh, mustache. And, uh, oh, big mustache, yeah. Yeah, and I, I asked, uh, I, 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 you asked why, is because when he made the painting, the the, what he said is that he was scary all the time about the guy with the big mustache. <laughs> yeah. And uh, well, things that happened, but this is the art. Yeah. It's impact 
people and the people who made the art normally yeah. have uh, feelings that they try to put in the in the in the paintings and uh, communicate something you know if yeah. not it has no sense one of the things i've come to know about you over the years is that um your as you say your painting is continuous you you never seem to be at loss. You you pick up on everything, whether it's like you say the angels or the uh, abused children or just about anything that's going on becomes grist for your mill. I mean, you pick up on it and you paint it, and I think that's that's amazing. I I, I never heard you talk about having a, what an artist block, not knowing what to paint. You always seem to know what to paint. I have, I have like everybody, you know, and one of the points that, and, and a big uh, block that I have was when I told you that I was working for the beast, this big company. Yeah. That I love it because that, that was, a, uh, I really uh, don't finish my university, but I work with them and that was my university about a lot of things. I all the time say, thank you. I need to, to go out just because I want to, to fill in or, or do a different things. But in that time that I told you that, it was like a, probably a six or seven years that I paint just in black and white, black and white, black and white. I cannot go out of that. And that was, was a big block because I say, what is happening with me until I, I, I go out and I return to the light and to the colors and to all these things. And hey, it was an incredible change. It was an incredible feeling. and. Uh, the only thing that I can say is uh, thank you to my wife, because in that time, I remember I arrived to my home and I say, you know, Mar Mar Margarita, I want to go out of this. And uh, and in that time, it was important for me, that company. We have the insurance, they pay the insurance, they pay the car, they pay the kids, you know, everything. And uh, in South America, it's really hard to get a job like that. But uh, what she said is, you have two hands, I have two hands, we can do whatever we want. Mm -hmm. And I go out of the company and, you know, a different life that is no easy like like before, you know, but was fantastic to have that support. Um, so that, that was your dark period. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> do, do you have any pictures left from that? Uh, uh, no, I don't no, show something that will was similar. Of course, that I can. I will let me move the phone one second. Okay, and I can show you. This is uh, similar to that time. It was that's not too strong. That was really simple drawing, but it was like this. It was a black and white. Uh huh. You know, it was dark. It was ink. Uh, it was uh, this has too much color? But it was things that was uh, I. I I don't have really nothing that that I. Well, probably the one that you like, Linda. That is a white, but there's no in that time. But it was really fun. That one, exactly. You got it. Yeah. You know, was so simple, but uh, in that time was not like that. It was really hard. It was uh, strong paintings. It was uh, different. You know. Uh, and no colors, but yeah. I, love, I, I love that painting. Yeah. Yes, very nice. Uh, but uh, colors do mark most of your work right now. I mean, you're, the colors are very impressive. I, 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 I learn and the colors is the colors. Yes, I, am, I have a, a really happy life. Uh, you know, I, the problems that we have is something that doesn't change my my view my 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 point of view uh -huh. that things are coming better and better and better the business is so slow so bad we are losing money from the first uh, day that they started the pandemic until now but the thing is we need to pass that and we need to go uh, through that uh, yeah. i think in a probably i am no I am no incredible uh, businessman, but I have 21 years in Modesto, and I learned about Modesto. When when I learn is that we need to uh, slow down, be calm, try to pass that, uh, making the best that you can to serve the people that you have around, and don't be 
crazy about that you don't have a volume. And don't be crazy about to open the parallels and put tables outside and try to do that because you need to spend too much money to do that. Mm. And uh, uh, I prefer to go slow, calm, and pass this. H having my same employees, I don't take out my employees from my place. I continue paying almost the same time that they worked before and now. But the idea is to go slow, don't spend much more money you can know half or, or the money that you can you don't need to spend uh -huh. and this is the only way that i learned in modesto because uh, that this is the third time that we have a crisis the first time was when we just arrived 2001 the 9 11. Mm. everything was crazy everything is stock and more for the people who came from outside for the immigrants that we were that we are yes yes the second was in 2007 when the houses and the things the market was not to nothing but was not too long and this is is a long period of problem for everybody who is in the business uh in, like like we are no service that you need people inside of your place you need people and we don't do that we follow exactly instructions until they don't say that we can have some people inside i don't do nothing to have people or customers that they they inside uh -huh. not, that we have a little patio we use the patio we made deliveries we made everything that we can but this is a way that i feel that we can pass this uh -huh. to be comfortable because uh, i see the government is helping you know uh uh everybody needs help and if you can help to somebody please help it doesn't matter this a little thing a tiny thing the help that you can give is incredible for somebody you are an inspiration to many people, Jordy. Oh, thank wow. You. Thank you. So anyway, tell us about this picture that's on the screen. Uh, is there, a, where does it come from? Is there a story to this or? Well, uh, uh, it's, it's something that happened in my family. You know, it's uh, somebody was sick and uh, that's what I put the people is sad. The people is uh, dark. You know, I try the colors because I like the colors you can see in the uh, eyes of one of the guy right there. He has uh, uh, two figures with uh, people right there because I think so that this is, this person in my family need to need to handle a lot of things and need to uh, uh, focus in, in, uh, in that the healthy, the, the health of the persons around will be better than now. But in any case, it's just things that happen, little stories, some, so I'm like, this story is, I maintain a little prevail, but it's what happened right there. You know, it's, it's a couple, yeah. And somebody there is having, having problems. Okay. So, oh, what's next? Did we miss out on here? Was that the, uh, what happened to the art? Uh, where's the next picture coming? Oh, here we go. That's the same, yeah. Yeah, so what's the next picture? Oh, I mean, I, there we go. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a picture that I make uh, uh, probably, I don't remember, say six or seven, probably eight years ago when my son has a girlfriend uh, uh, and uh, he was living out of, uh, of Modesto. He was living in, in uh, uh, Long Beach, because he was having the, the, the university over there, and uh, we met her and the family, beautiful girl. And uh, but all the time, when when the kids are not close, we are worried about the, the things that happen with them, and that's, it's more or less about that. Okay. So, oh, who's this, this guy? This is really a special painting. Uh, this guy is a local artist. I don't, I don't make the portrait for him. I don't want to, that the people say, oh, but that doesn't look like him. I don't make a portrait of him. I make a portrait what, about what he, he, he do. Uh, he paint birds, frogs, and cats. Ah. And you know who is? That's, that's a painting about the, the, the name of the painting is uh, the painter of the cats, uh, birds, and, and and, and frogs. Okay. <laughs> You're laughing, but it's true. Oh, no, he, no, I, I, you know, it's just, yeah, it fits. He is, he's an incredible artist in his way. And uh, wow, he has a lot of 
power about what I, I have 20 years here and I saw him making art all these years and trying hard and doing the ways that, that uh, oh, it's, it's something that we need to respect a lot. Okay. What do we have next here? Okay. <laughs> yeah. A the, city scene of some kind. Yeah, but that was a, that was so funny. I all the time for a long time, I tried to to paint just in the most white colors that I can, and I made this little painting. Well, it's not little; it's like a thirty-six by thirty-six or forty by forty. And uh, uh, the tower, it's it's the tower that has the uh, McHenry Museum. Oh. Okay, but the other thing is totally I try. I, I, like I told you, for me, it's so hard to be to the abstract side. And uh -huh. I, I am more expressionist. I need to have something uh, in it that, that, that show me what it is, you know. And that's why I, the colors are different, the, the, the shapes are different, but I just live over there, the tower of the McHenry Museum. <laughs> okay. So what's next here? There we go. Oh, oh there's. It. Hey, that's Mr. Kobe. It's talking with my grandsons and uh, having fun. That was the COVID uh, time, and I, I am, um, I try to to do something funny, something you can see. Some of the my paintings uh, in that time was uh, uh, faces really strong or animals that you can see right there, the cat or uh, these paintings that would be more relaxing and more happy to try to, to be a confusion because what's a confusion about what is happening in the world because this is something that we need to think in is global. It's not here, it's not in Ecuador, it's not in Spain, it's global, it's everywhere. And that's a big confusion, but I love it. It's, it's so fun to, to can uh, feel in something, put in a paper and, uh, and be, try to be happy. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. You mentioned you know these are that you've done a series of what you call COVID paintings. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm beginning to notice here that these are different than your usual ones. That uh, being uh, what under the influence of COVID, not under the influence of COVID, but being <laughs> kept at home and uh, thinking about this global pan pandemic. Uh, influence the way you paint and what you paint about yeah yeah that's uh, mm -hmm. that i i you, i paint for for a long time elephants because my wife loves elephants i believe she has a in the figures like a 100 something elephants you know that she used for decorate the house and time by time she put it and take out and uh, uh when we start like this i paint about the kobe i try to paint about different things. The cat that you saw, right there is a cat that is a Kobe cat. But I paint elephants too that are, they were Kobe. Let me show you. These are the, the uh, I don't send this picture to you, but I can show you. Just give me one second. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, if you can see the round thing right here with the orange is the wall. And this is an elephant. My wife loved the elephant. But everything is so confused. It's so dark. It's uh, people around, you know. And uh, it's just for that confusion and things that you love will be effect for that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They are elephants, they are flowers, or they are people but everybody will be in, is involved in this situation. And hopefully we will go out soon and everybody can be the most normal possible. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Hope so. Okay. Oh, that's, that's uh, all the time that we will have a visit of Maggie. I need to think in, in cats and birds. And this is a cat and a bird right there. But uh, like I told you, for me, the most difficult part of the art is to be as abstract. And I try to paint abstract but all the time, put figures right there. And uh, as a cat and a bird, that's my daughter. My grandsons uh, discovered in, in uh, a few months ago when I made this painting, 
uh, the, uh, the the chickens and uh, his grandpa in in Ecuador, uh, uh, the other grandpa, I have one, but the other grandpa, <laughs> he bought some chickens for them, and they were so crazy with the chickens, and uh, I, I I felt so so happy with them one day that they were so excited about the, the chicken, and now. Uh, when I was talking with Luca, my grandson, he said, I don't want just a chicken. I want a cat. I want a dog. But I will talk with Marcelo, that is my, my older grandpa. Uh, he has six years, six years old now. Yeah. Uh, and I will ask that he need to buy a cow because we need a cow for making <laughs> a farm. Yes, I do, your grandpa. No. Okay. That, that kind of things, you know, was, uh, was really fun to, to, to be birds, cats. And, all that my daughter and my grandson's love. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good story. I don't, I, I, it's really hard to see that story, but it was so fun. Uh, I believe was, let me see, two, before I started the COVID, no, that was uh, around January 2019. Uh, I, I like to, in my business, Picasso's, uh, I like to use the, su the suppliers for a long time. I don't. I am not a person who broke in with the people or fight or doing nothing. Need to be really something really wrong or something that I don't like. And I f until I found the things that I like. But uh, I use the same company for coffees and teas when we start here in 2000 until now. That is, uh, uh, I would mention a company. I'm sorry about that. I don't want to be advertising, but. It, uh, uh, Maloney coffee. Uh, oh yes, yes. Maloney, coffee and tea. And when we before we start, we invite a few companies local that they make co uh, uh, coffees. And uh, I we taste. I taste with some friends, and we decide to go with Maloney. But that happened. 2019, the person who visited me and and delivered the things to me came and said, oh, "We change the tea. The tea is different." I said, "What?" I said, "Why you change the tea? I use the tea for." 20 years, they, no, no, check. And he opened the bag, was a, I believe was a pomegranate tea, you know, for the iced tea. You know? And he opened that and came to me all kind of uh, flavors in my in my face. And uh, I saw the, the bag and the bag was pieces of the flowers, you know, and seeds, different colors and black colors and green colors and yellow colors. But most of the colors was black because it was a black tea. And uh, I am no person who likes the, the iced tea. I like the hot tea, but not the iced tea. And before that, the tea was so power. That's it, you know. I put the power and brew every day. And I brew now, but I need to brew in different way because it's flowers and pieces of the tea leaves. And uh, that impressed me too much that uh, I become this in uh, my dark, my black tea that I don't drink because I don't like it. If you saw the black uh, rectangle in the right is my cap and the black things that go out like a, like almost like a flowers, you know, are the tea that I discovered in that moment, the smelling, uh -huh. the beautiful uh, smelling that I feel like at probably oranges, uh, I don't know, blueberries or something like that. And I just uh, was in, I put this, I made this, the first painting of that, but I make a series like a probably 12. And this is the starting, but when I finish the series, my tea become in a, in a jar tea in the paintings with flowers. And the flowers were so skinny and just black flowers with a lot of colors in the background. And that's how it become that. This is a tea yeah. from... This is a, a wonderful example of uh, a lot of artists say, you know, when they're trying to instruct other people is paint what you know or write about what you know. And it's like, this is just a great example. I mean, something as right and simple and right in front of your face as tea and coffee and look at what it produces. It's exactly. yeah. It's, it's a great example. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's so, I don't know, it's so natural. It's something that I, you know, that I, I am in part during the morning or during the day with something in Picasso's or in the news or whatever. And I need to, when I arrive, like I almost painting every day, I have the, the, the good luck that I have a nice place, a nice studio that I can do it 
ah, oh, it's coming, it's coming all the time. Things yeah. that I, and sometimes I am thinking, hey, that's true. Why, why do I do that? You know, <laughs> I need to do that. But what I, what I feel that I need to do that doesn't matter. Yeah. That today I talk a lot with you guys. Yeah. I'm not a talker. I am not people. Who, I am not a follower. That's a big problem for me. I don't follow the people. I need my time. Mm -hmm. Yes. And speaking of your studio and having a beautiful place, the next picture I think is of your studio. Yeah, it's right here. We are right here. <laughs> yeah, we're right there right now. And yeah, it's a few pieces that, yeah, or one piece of that I am working right there. I like to work a lot. I have my easel behind me. I don't know if you can see it, but I have yes. my easel behind me. And I use the easel, but my table, oh, is fantastic because it gives me more possibilities. Give me, I don't know, I can go better to each corner of the piece and uh, go through that and put inside, and, you know, I don't know. I like to work a lot in the uh, horizontal way, my paintings, most yeah. of them. But I use the easel too, yeah. Looks like a wonderful, comfortable place to be. Yeah, it's calm. I have, uh, yeah, I have all the, if you, uh, let me show you. I can show you. Let me, I will move again. I'm sorry. If you see uh, behind me, I will show you. You can see it's, uh, it's this room. I have windows all the way down. All oh, these are great. windows, windows. Now it's a little dark, you know, and windows until the corner. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see my studio right there. I have all the time things right here. This is uh, this table right here is uh, a table for, let me see. It's for the screen printing because some, time by time my son came and worked here a little bit. He has his own studio, but my, my daughter, she wants to, you can see it's things that we are working, different things that you have behind my tools and things, my espresso machine. <laughs> I love it. Some new paintings that I, I am working with the Y, like I told you before, and doing different things, you know, yeah. You can see this is a beach. I don't know if you can see. Oh, this is a beach. This is an ocean, and uh, but it's a, it's totally. I try to do an abstract that can be about the beach, and about the uh, the. But but like I told you, it's really hard for me to don't put something that show what what is happening right there. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry that I moved too much. I know. I am oh, no, 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 no. Interesting. It's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. this is the life, true life of an artist. You, mm -hmm. you live it. it. It is your life. Yeah. I think the next one is also of uh, an interior shot of your house here. Uh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's my furniture. I, I, I put that picture because I want to show that. I remember when I told you 1994 or 95, I made. Tables. And from yeah. that time until now, I make all the tables in my in the restaurant in Picasso's. Each one is making and is working 21 years over there. And I make tables for different persons. I, for example, I believe that I have a couple of tables in Preservation Coffee that uh, Paul asked me for the tables, and I I made for him, and he was so nice to put uh, to buy and put in the Preservation Coffee. I make a table for a coffee shop in uh, Merced that was a uh, coffee net or net coffee or something like that hmm. and yeah i make i i have fun you know yeah i have fun i make a lot of things the plates i love the plates but i don't want to paint plates anymore because they too long uh and uh you know they broken <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i yeah. broke almost the only place that i have is these two right here that is over the table and two that I have probably in Picasso's in somewhere that I use when I need to serve something special for a, for a party or something like that. Uh, and so that, when you first came to town, I know that you sold a number of your tables. Do you still sell tables out of your restaurant or as many I, as before? Or I, I am a bad seller person. I am uh, uh, I'm sorry, a bad salesman. I don't promote too much because I am so focused in the coffee, in the sandwich, in the food, you know. But uh, every time I write people that came and say, Jordi, I know about your tables. Uh, and I make, of course, whatever table they want. Uh, I can paint over the table. I can make the toilet table top or whatever like this. Yes. I made uh, uh, 
a few tables for different people here, and I made a few tables for people in Sacramento. That's for some reason they discovered me, and, and I made that. Uh, yes, I, I sell some tables in San Francisco. You know, I have a, a one, uh, one person in San Francisco that is the biggest collector of my art. I cannot tell you how many they have, but it's like a 50 more pieces that I made. Wow. Uh, and uh, yes, this is how how happened. Is the the art thing is really hard. And my mom has all the reason about. It. She doesn't want that I will be just an artist because I know that it's really hard, you know. And and most if you came without any uh, uh, art studios, you know, it's hard that that other because it's really hard to go to the gallery and say, hey, I am an artist, and say, where where you study? Oh no, it's just um, I just create my own things and that that is really hard you know yes but uh, hey i am here and i am happy <laughs> <laughs> good all right what's what's next here oh another you know, and this is the, the what i tell you uh for me and uh, it's is how i am working in some pieces like that it's really hard to be abstract totally i need to put things and i try to don't do it but time by time it's I know appears things right there. This is something that I was working uh, yesterday night and uh, using different colors that I don't use normally. Uh huh. And it's because they are colors that Maggie use and she's here and we are using together and that's what I am learning, you know. And uh, uh, this is the same the same idea. Like the you have two or three that they are a little abstract. One are more flo flo uh, floral because. Yeah, that's more floral. You can see probably, oh, it's some leaves and flowers or something that is uh, uh, showing right there. But it's more trying to to really, really make an abstract. That was so funny. This is a painting that I made and my wife was talking in the phone uh, with somebody and she writes something in the painting and she doesn't write that. <laughs> She put some phone numbers and some address and some things. And when I came, I said, hey, you write me and that. I love it that. I said, what? What I did? No. <laughs> <laughs> and I I leave what he do, but I I uh, I put more lines in the way that you cannot read the address or you cannot read the phone number, you know. But I love how it works like this, you know. It's part of the I cannot go out of this painting without that that my wife made. Yeah. Wonderful. That's that's true. The th things happen for casualty, and uh, hey, I love that. I, I'm so. I tell you, when I saw, I told you that the good thing about the art is the surprise, and that caused me a surprise that with all the colors and the lines and everything looks great. And I said, "Wow, that's impressed." Probably why I didn't think and do that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that's the Kobe cat. I need. Oh. To <laughs> oh, we love Kobe. We have we we love Kobe. We love cats. Uh, when we came, uh, my daughter she has a cat and the name was Mia, and uh, she has for a few years already. And we bring to USA, and she lived here until a few years ago. She lived with us uh, eighteen years, mm -hmm. and she passed away. That was so sad. I I don't uh -oh. think I cried uh, in the last twenty years. I don't think so that I cried more than when I cry with the, with Mia pass away. Uh, and that uh, was so, uh, so interesting because we like immigrants, we need to present all kinds of papers. We came with different things. We move the, mo the mo money to the government. This is the money that we are bringing to make the business and put the business and this and that. And uh, uh, my wife came with the kids and the cat. And when, when, uh, when she go to the uh, custom and she asked about, and they say, what is that? It's a cat. And she say, you need the paper. I say, no, 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 we love the cats. Go inside. It's perfect. Oh. And they go really easy to custom things the cat. Wow. Uh, so you call this COVID cat. Is that because you painted it in time of COVID or? Time of COVID. And if you see the, uh, uh, it looks like, an, like a little, uh, uh, no, no, like a kitty cat. It looks like a, a a dark cat or something like it's drawn and it's you know it's uh, it's no it's no a good cat. That's not a good cat. Okay, no, I'm sure. Okay, 
So what do we have? Okay. This is a Kobe. Yeah. In that time, I I I, I make a lot of, of faces and I show the the one of the things that we need to cover the the mouth the mouth. I saw the mouth and the teeth open because this is the first thing that we need to cover our face. And uh, uh, it's incredible, but one year before that, exactly one year before I started COVID, I painted uh, like a four or five uh, little paintings that they are faces. And uh, the faces was covering, the mouth was covered like a mask and the COVID wasn't here. And wow. that's what I in that time, don't put the mask. And uh, the series of painting that, that happened that time was about the immigration in, in Europe because uh, uh, it was really strong time for immigration in Europe and they have people going from Africa to Spain or to uh, Italy and uh, the, the, the governments don't want to receive the people. They, these people die in the, in the uh, they die in the ocean, you know. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, that series of paintings I make uh, in the back, in the canvas, in the back of the canvas. I don't use the regular canvas uh, soup uh, area. I use the back in the canvas, the back of the of the canvas area. Uh huh. Because I think that that is so backward. You know, it's something wrong, something that cannot be like that. That people going and. They don't. They 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 find a, a captain. Was a lady. Was a captain, and she picked them. These people dying in the ocean, and they tr she tried to go to Italy, and uh, they arrived to Italy, and the the authorities put her in the jail, and they they find her and make a. a oh no! Was so, so, some stories that they are incredible. Yes. And you, what you said about painting these things before it actually came, I'm sorry. Uh, I have read articles where uh, artists kind of, um, some of their paintings uh, come before actual events, uh, you know, throughout history that artists seem to have a, um, what? A an inter, in, yeah, inter, inner connection to uh, what's going on I, in the world. Yeah, I don't want to say that, but... Uh, well, I did. Uh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I, I don't want to say that, but yes, that uh, that's sometimes I I have that feeling sometimes. Yeah. Okay. That that uh, that uh, that things happen and pff, you put in the in a painting and you say, wow, this is exactly what is happening right now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's scary. You know. So we have here what another one of your abstracts. This is so, this is all something new for you getting into abstracts. Yeah, this 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 is the one that I, I, I we talk a little bit about that a few minutes ago, and what uh, uh, kind of uh, abstract and happy and uh, influence for different things. If you can see, it's uh, it's a uh, it's a book right there, and probably it's a book that looks like a. a like uh, something about Picasso's. Yeah. You have a little rat on the corner and it's because uh, when I was painting with my grandson right here and he was painting and I asked what he's painting and he said that he's painting a rat, you know, a mouse and that kind of things. Uh, and you have like a gorilla in the center that like is about King Kong, but it's all these things to put in together to make some interesting, happy, and Kobe paint him. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, you have a sharp too. I believe that it's a sharp on the top that is for sharp too. It's okay. good, good movies and things, you know, just just doing things. Yeah. Well, I think we have time for uh, one more. Uh, let's see what we, there we go. That's incredible, beautiful painting. I'm sorry that I say that, but it's because it's all the, the theme about my grandkids. Oh. It, it's a, it's it's something that is fun that you can give to a kid and probably they can do this better than you than that than myself you know yeah it's fun and has uh, I don't know kitchens high kitties high, high uh, mouses has a bee has different uh, different kind of elements that is normally in the in the books for the kids for the little kids and uh, I love to play when you know. I think so. That part, important part of the artist is to try to 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 continue to be a kid. Yes, I've heard that. Yeah, 
I study agree. lots of years in order to end up painting like a child. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Well, Jordy, it has been a true joy having you on here. I mean, you're, you epitomize uh, someone who lives their art. Mm -hmm. And it's a, it's a real inspiration. It's an inspiration to me and I'm sure to a lot of other people. Yes, me and, too. Yeah. And to come, come into your place and talk with you is always a delight. And I'm so happy that you are here in town. Thank you, David. Thank you, Linda. Hey, I was so honored to be here and to share my things. You know that I am a shy person. I don't like to talk, but today I talked like a crazy. Eh? You did. You <laughs> talked a lot, man. <laughs> you, you, you have so much to say. <laughs> so. Because uh, we talk about stories that is right there. That is what uh, what I live. That is what uh, what I try to do, you know. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we are here in Modesto. We love Modesto. And uh, uh, but I am. I continue to be a shy people. I don't want to be involved in the politicians or the big things. I am just come painting and showing. Yeah. Well. So thank you once again. And uh, before so we much. leave, Linda, uh, who, who do we have next week? Uh, do you recall? I believe Daniel Alfonso. Daniel Alfonso, or what? Uh, Dr. From Alfonso. Mod Modesto Symphony, he leads the chorus or something, or yes, master chorus. Director of the Modesto Symphony Orchestra Chorus. He is a professor at uh, Stanislaus State and a composer. And uh, I so look forward to talking with him too. Okay. Well, thanks to you. And uh, we'll say goodbye for now. Thank you, Thank Jordi. You. Okay. <laughs>